Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and there are only three holsters that you actually need. So through my years of carrying guns, I think I've narrowed it down to three holsters that you actually need. Uh, I have a bin full of useless holsters, of course, just like everyone else does. Uh, however, I think now I've finally been able to narrow it down to the real true three holsters that you actually need. The first holster, of course, is a Kydex-like or Kydex appendix style carry holster, right? The, the holsters in this list are just styles. They're not actually like specific manufacturer makes and models of holsters. Uh, but the first one is some kind of appendix rig. I love appendix carry. It's lightning fast, same draw position, whether you're seated or standing. I'm not a four o'clock carry guy. If you are, I guess you could put that holster in place of this, but an appendix inside the waistband carry holster is the first holster you need. That's gonna work for you about 90, 95% of the time for the kind of carry that you want. Um, so highly recommend the appendix carry position. Again, make sure something is out of Kydex so that it doesn't fold up on you when you start holstering and unholstering that gun because you don't want to have a negligent discharge in that region. The second holster that you're going to need is some kind of outside the waistband like holster. Uh, this one is from Raven Concealment. I don't have enough time on it to recommend it or not recommend it to you yet, but some kind of Kydex again, Kydex like whatever outside the waistband holster. Uh, most outside the waistband holsters these days, they're going to, there's a lot of companies that make really tight to the body belt loop. So that holster and that gun is going to end up being really tight to your body. Uh, that's good for concealment. Now, if you're saying, listen, Dylan, I have the appendix rig. What do I need an outside the waistband rig for? Uh, well, there are times when you just can't carry appendix either because your dress precludes it. Like you need to, you know, wear a suit jacket or something like that or just because maybe you're gonna spend all day doing yard work and moving boxes and climbing up and down trees or whatever, and appendix just isn't the most comfortable way to carry that day. So I highly recommend having some kind of outside the waistband setup for those times when appendix isn't gonna work for you so you're not running around the house trying to switch out different guns or carry in your pocket or leave your gun at home, which would be even worse, uh, but you have a way to effectively carry that gun with you so it can be your constant companion like it should be. The third holster that you need, and this might not apply to all of you, is some kind of retention uh, holster. This is a Safari Land ALS holster. You can get a Safari Hand, Safari Land SLS with the hood, or the with the hood and the ALS, or Black Hawk makes some now. Whatever. There are options out there for different retention holsters. Uh, I'm a big fan of a retention holster, primarily for tactical and tactical type gear. Uh, one of the reasons is if you are crawling around and moving through the woods and whatever, I like having that extra retention so that if a branch catches this or whatever, something's not just going to lift my pistol right out of my holster. Most modern Kydex holsters have really good retention. So are you going to lose your pistol if you don't have some kind of security holster? Uh, probably not. I like knowing that, hey, that pistol is locked in and it's not going anywhere unless, of course, I push that magic button and then, of course, the pistol can come right out. The other reason I like having that security and retention holster there is that no one can just grab my pistol. I remember very specifically when the Minneapolis riots happened uh, and it looked like I might be suiting up to go out and help some people defend their businesses. And I didn't have a retention holster on my rig at that point. And I remember thinking, this is a problem. Um, I would much, I feel much better about having a retention holster. So I fixed that and now I have one on my tactical battle rattle. Uh, the other thing I like about the Safari Land system in particular is that they have the QLS system. So you can pop this one in and out of different gear sets or whatever. And if you're a person who likes to open carry, which I used to open carry a bit, I haven't in a long time, whatever. Uh, but if you like to do that, I would highly recommend, again, having that retention holster in this. You could just clip into a belt loop and all of a sudden now you're, you're good to go. Uh, but that way, again, if you're open carrying, no one can come up and just grab your pistol because let's be honest, if you're open carrying and someone just reached over and grabbed your pistol, you're going to feel really silly. So that's it. Those are the only three holsters you need and you'll never have to buy a holster again and add it to your useless bin of holsters. Hope that was helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.